you're tired of Android and you want to move to an iPhone. You can transfer all your pictures and videos and a lot of stuff, but you cannot transfer your WhatsApp chat history for free. The only way you can transfer your WhatsApp chat history is by software. And there are different softwares and I have different videos on my channel, but this time we're going to check this software called iTransfer for WhatsApp. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you a software that is going to allow you to transfer all your WhatsApp chat history from an Android to an iPhone device. The name of this tool is iTransfer for WhatsApp and the company that make this software is iMyPhone. So iMyPhone was kind enough to provide me with a copy of this software so I can test it for you guys. So as you can see here on their website, and I'm gonna put a link on the description so you can buy it if you want it. Yes, this is not a free software. As you can see here, you're gonna be able to transfer from WhatsApp and WhatsApp Business from Android to iPhone. And if you want to buy it, you can click here the one month plan costs $29.95 and the one year plan costs $39.95. So it's up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the software and we're going to connect the devices. So let's connect the Android device first. Let's see what happened. All right. So now it's charging and it's asking you use USB 4 and you have to select file transfer Android Auto. But look at this, guys. Immediately when I connect the device, I can see this on the software and is asking me to turn on developer options so I can enable USB debugging. So how can we do that? I have to go to settings, click about the phone, and here you're going to tap several times on this MIUI version. Right there. You are now a developer. So now that we are a developer, we're going to go back and we're going to search for developer options. Click there. And you're going to look for USB debugging. It's right here. USB debugging, you have to enable it. This is pretty much uh, giving you a warning. And you need to click here saying, I'm aware of the possible risk. And just click OK. So USB debugging is on. Now the software already recognized the source as the Redmi 9. All right, guys. And I'm going to connect an iPhone as a destination. So let's see what happens. Trust this computer. And you're going to click Trust. And now that you click trust, the software is going to recognize the iPhone 7 as the destination. I just want to show you this. I have my WhatsApp here and on my WhatsApp, I have some chats. And uh, for example, if you go here, you're going to see that I have pictures. OK. And I also have uh, audio. One, two, three, testing. OK. Got the audio fine. So I have some stuff and this is the stuff that we're going to transfer. So at the end, we are going to be successful if we can see these chats on the iPhone. OK, I just wanted to show you this. For example, this one, too. I have more pictures here. Also audio. Testing the audio. And here you can have all kinds of stuff, uh, attachments, Word documents, Excel, PowerPoint, videos, pictures, anything that you can attach to a WhatsApp chat. It should be able to transfer to the iPhone. OK. So I think we are pretty much ready to do it, right? The other thing I want to tell you guys is that usually you are not going to have a WhatsApp account here on the iPhone because you're going to transfer here from the Android, right? So usually I would just suggest you to install WhatsApp and leave it there. Do not configure it. In my case, I do have a WhatsApp account here on the iPhone. And if that's your case, I'm going to suggest you to do this. Go to settings, go to chats and do a chat backup. Make sure you include videos and backup now. This is just in case you have a WhatsApp on your iPhone, but most people are not going to have it because they're planning to move from Android to iPhone. I already connected both devices, so I think we are ready. So let's see what happened if we click transfer. Look at this transfer and they ask you if you're going to do it. WhatsApp business or WhatsApp regular messenger. And in our case, it's WhatsApp messenger. If you have WhatsApp on the destination device, the WhatsApp data will be erased after the transfer. Therefore, back up the data before clicking continue. And that's what I was telling you guys. If you have WhatsApp on the iPhone, do a backup and you're safe because this is going to be deleted. Also, number two, it says make sure you've installed WhatsApp and turn off Find My iPhone on the destination device before transfer. So how can we do that? We need to go to settings, click on your ID and Find Mine. It needs to be, it's right now it's on, it needs to be off. So turn it off. It's going to ask me for my password. All right. Turn off. So now Find Mine is off but I still have my Apple ID here. OK, to transfer your WhatsApp, the program will install customized WhatsApp on your Android device. Your cooperation is needed in the first two stages during the transfer. 
but don't worry about it. Either you're gonna delete it or you're gonna move your WhatsApp to iPhone. This shouldn't matter, to be honest. So let's continue. It says preparation on source device. And look at this. On WhatsApp, it's asking me to select backup to Google Drive never. So on the source, on the Android, make sure you go to settings, go to chats and chat backup and make sure the backup to Google Drive is selected as never. We're gonna select it and we're gonna click never. And then after we click never, we're gonna do another backup. So once we do this, now we are sure that we're making the backup on the device itself. You can see here, 10.16 a.m., 439 megabytes. So we're ready with that, we're gonna click done. Checking the WhatsApp Messenger backup on your device. Look, installing customized WhatsApp on your device. So WhatsApp close, and now look, it says install via USB. I'm gonna click remember my choice and I'm gonna click install. Installing customized WhatsApp on your device. Look, and now we have WhatsApp right there. Now, this is important. It's asking me, allow WhatsApp to access photos media? Allow. You have to go to permissions on the application info and enable the storage on WhatsApp. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna go to the application right here, apps, and you're gonna say manage apps, and you're gonna look for WhatsApp, and here, make sure that uh, you have the permissions. App permissions, and make sure you have files and media, allow access to media only, okay? Camera, contacts, location. So I think we are good, guys. We have the permissions we need, I think. So once we know that that's true, I'm gonna click done. Are you sure that you have allowed WhatsApp Messenger to access your device storage? If you have not, but click yes, the transfer will fail. Okay, we're gonna click yes. It says preparation on source device is at 40%. Click skip if you see the pop-up below. Okay, we're gonna click agree and continue. Now we have to put our number, guys. United States, and our number is 754-200-1414. That's our WhatsApp chat number. Gonna click next. You entered 754-200-1414, click OK. To easily verify your number, WhatsApp can automatically detect your verification code. So I'm gonna click continue. Allow WhatsApp to send SMS messages, allow. I should get a code to this number. And here's the code, guys, look at this. The code is gonna be 904-178. 904-178. So now verifying WhatsApp, verification complete. It says to find your backup on Google Drive, allow WhatsApp to access your contacts. Allow WhatsApp to access your contacts, allow. And it says backup found. Give WhatsApp permissions to check your Google account. You're gonna click restore. Look at this, it says two minutes ago, backup found, size 558. You have to click restore. And you're gonna restore the backup from the internal storage, all right? Restore. 2,500 name messages restore. I'm gonna click next. You're gonna put your name here and you're gonna click done here. Checking if the backup has been restored successfully. So you can see that it's moving 78, 59, 60%. And depending on how much data you have, this is gonna take longer, you know. In my case, I have half a gig. Uh, you have more, you have one gig, two gigs. Some people have an insane amount of data on WhatsApp, like, I don't know, 50 gigs, which is way too much. And you can see here all the process, you know, preparation, process, and here on the iPhone, nothing is happening. I want to show you everything so you know what you're getting into. This is not that easy. WhatsApp messages transfer successful. The destination device is restarting. The iPhone 7 is restarting. It says WhatsApp messenger transfer successful, okay? What happened? Here's the WhatsApp. And looks like I have all my chats right here. Look, look guys, I have all my pictures. Remember I show you these pictures? I have the audio. One, two, three, got the audio fine. And here too. I show you these pictures before. And that's perfect. Once we are sure that we have all our chat history on the iPhone device, and now you can change the settings. You go to chats, you go to chat backup, and you can do um, backup now. So the backup is gonna happen on iCloud because you don't have Google Drive on the iPhone. You know, auto backup, I choose daily, include videos, of course. And another stuff that I'm gonna do, guys, uh, for security, I'll suggest you to go to uh, account, go to two-step verification, 
and I want you to enable it and put a passcode. That will protect your account not to be hacked, okay? Because a lot of people are hacking WhatsApp's accounts. All right, guys, so, and then here, I'm gonna click done. And that's it, it's done. I was able to transfer, and what happened here? You know what, to be honest, I don't care what happened here on the Android because the whole point was to move from Android to iPhone. So I'm gonna restore this device and sell it. So I don't care what happened here on the Android. What I care is that I have my WhatsApp chat history on the iPhone with this software. This software that I'm reviewing right now, it's called iTransor for WhatsApp by the company iMyPhone. It's a great software. I was able to successfully move all my chat history from an Android device to my iPhone. And I kept all my pictures and videos. Let's see if I have a video here so I can play this one. You know, I have all my videos. I didn't lose anything. So that's great, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.